Good afternoon, viewers and listeners. Welcome once again to Salida Teleradio of La Filipina National High School. My name is Elsie M. Ranara, your teacher host for today. This afternoon, you will learn another interesting topic in Mathematics 9, the illustration of angle of elevation. So now, let's give the floor to our teacher broadcaster, Ma'am Lori Lay M. Tabuada. Thank you so much, Ma'am Elsie. Good afternoon, viewers and listeners. First, we will discuss our objectives for the day. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to First, define angle of elevation. Second, label the parts of the given figure that is an angle of elevation. And third, you have to know how to illustrate angle of elevation given a situation. Okay, ready your pen and paper? Let's go! Let's have first activity one. Describe me. I have here a picture. You have here a boy and an airplane. Okay, on the lowest, uh, on the left lowest side of the picture, there's a boy, and on the right, uppermost right of the picture, there's an airplane. Okay, and the boy is looking at the airplane. Okay. Please observe, I will give you three pictures, or I will uh, describe three pictures. Okay, and the next picture we have here, on the left side of the picture, we have an, an apple tree. And then, on the right side of the picture, there's a dog. Okay, and the dog is looking at the apples. Okay, and the last picture we have a wall and a ladder. Okay, and the ladder is leaning against the wall. Okay, what have you observed among the three pictures? Okay, if you're just listening through radio, what have you observed? Uh, sa inyuhang illustrations nga gidraw dira o sa inyuhang mga na-imagine. Okay, so look at that. Okay, sa ato ang dog and apple tree. The dog is looking at the apples. Okay, so nag tanaw si dog kang ka, sa mga apples pataas. Okay, alang nag duko si dog to niya taas man si apple tree. And then we have the ladder leaning against the wall. And then the boy and the airplane. Okay, the boy is still looking at the airplane. So pataas gihapon siya. So everything is going up. The ladder, siyempre, pasaka po siya, no? Kay hagdanan man siya. So, what are the similarities? Okay? So, that's it. Mm, pasaka siya sa tanan. It portrays elevation. Okay. Can you see and draw any pattern in the picture? And what mathematical concept did you learn from the activity? Okay, so what do you think is the title of our lesson today? Very good. Today we will discuss illustration of angle of elevation. So we will just discuss illustration. Glita mag solve. So illustrate ng tatanan because this is very uh, important because this is the basic foundation bago ta mag learn or ma kabalong mo solve kailangan kabalo tong how to illustrate a given situation okay uh, sa ato ang three pictures na gidescribe ka ganina or na kinakita ninyo ka ganina an angle will be formed when we look up on some objects above okay did you know that pag magtanaw ka on some objects above na atay mabuhat na angle Every time we look up at something, we are creating something called the angle of elevation. Okay, a right angle is formed if we join an imaginary line between the object and of the horizontal line. So if, if you are relaxed and then you just your eyes, dilit ni mo sa tagalan ng stress, so magtanaw lang ka forward, and then you will make uh, an imaginary line parallel to the ground. Okay, so that is what we call the 
horizontal line and then you'll try to look up on your uh, th um, item of interest kung taha, you will look at the uh, clock on your wall so from the horizontal line you will look up at the clock on your wall so katung angle na maform ni mo looking at the clock that is what we call line of sight okay so we have we have already mentioned two uh, two terms line of sight horizontal line and angle of elevation okay angle of elevation is the angle that you formed between the line of sight and the horizontal line okay so muna siya ang angle of elevation from the horizontal line tanaw ko sa taas so that is ang form ang na form ni mo na angle that is what we call angle of elevation and then we have right angle right angle is what you form between the object or your uh, item of interest when you uh, make a line, imaginary line, paubos, and then sugat siya or against sa katong horizontal line, so you'll form a right angle. Okay, so just like that. An angle of elevation is the angle formed by a horizontal line and a line of sight to a point above the line. So, as what I have said ganina, uh, the horizontal line is your kind of relax mode sa imuhang mata. So, muna siya si horizontal line parallel sa ground. And then, the line of sight is katung linya nga na form ni mo when you look at the item uh, of interest. Okay. And then, uh, an angle of elevation is the upwards angle from the horizontal line. Okay, gikan sa horizontal line to a line of sight from the observer. Okay? Dili siya mag-move gikan sa bisan asa lang. Okay? Horizontal line gikan sa observer up to the line up to the line of sight sa observer. Okay. What about atong wall and ladder? Okay. So wall and ladder, the angle of elevation is found between asa man Okay, that is found between the ladder and the ground. Okay, so sa ladder and sa ground, since wala may tao dito, no? wala may object magigikanan. So, ang ladder o ang ground, ang naform ni mo na angle dito, ah, pasaka sa ladder, mo to siya ang angle of elevation. Okay? Okay, let's try to practice. Activity 2, label up. Okay. I will give you a picture and then you'll try to label kung asa dito as si horizontal line, si line of sight, asa dito ang na form ni muna right angle, and then the angle of elevation. Okay. Here we have a kid na nagpalupad siya o height. Okay, that is tabanog, no? So, uh, sa inyong paper, you try to draw a kid and then a height. Nagpalupad siya og kite. You try to label asa dito, uh, asa dito ang na-form na ni mo na line of sight. Uh, horizontal line. Asa ang angle of elevation and asa ang right angle. Okay, ready? I'll give you one minute to do that. Your timer starts now. Okay, time is up. So, we have here. Okay, the horizontal line is from your eye to parallel sa ground. Okay, mono siya si horizontal line. Okay, from the horizontal line, looking up sa kite, mono siya ang imuhang line of sight. Okay, so line of sight is above the horizontal line. And then, the angle of elevation is ang angle na na-form ni mo gikan sa horizontal line to the line of sight. So, ang angle na na-form ni to that is what we call the angle of elevation. Now, where is the right angle na na-form na to? Okay, from the kite, you'll draw an imaginary line paubos 
And then, uh, sugat siya sa katong horizontal line nga imuhang gidraw so that we formed a right angle. Okay, let's go to the next picture. Okay, here we have sa so lower uh, lower left side sa picture na atay sunflower. And then, we have the sun sa upper right corner sa picture. Okay, so you label as a dito ha ang mga line of sight, angle of elevation, horizontal line, and then the right angle. Okay, still, I'll give you one minute to do that. Your timer starts now. Okay, time is up. There we have the horizontal line is from the flower. Okay, so flower parallel with the ground. That is uh, the line you form. The line you form there is what we call the horizontal line. Okay, from the horizontal line to the sun. Okay, so mona siya ang ato ang angle of elevation nga na form. And then from the sunflower to the sun okay if you will draw an imaginary line there that is what we call the line of sight good job okay what about the right angle asa manapit nito as a right angle okay the right angle is what we form when we draw an imaginary line from the sun up to the horizontal line katong line nga parallel sa ground okay so that is what we call right angle okay good job now let's have more practice let's go to activity three draw my word okay this time i will give you a situation okay in this situation you will try to imagine and you will try to draw based on the situation nga akong ihatag sa inyo ha so wala illustration situation lang okay this is the basic of answering uh, angle of elevation okay situation one a statue is standing on the ground seven feet away from the base of a building that is seven i'm sorry Okay, a statue is standing on the ground, seven feet. No, no, I'm good, my Okay, situation one. A statue is standing on the ground, seven feet away from the base of a building. Again, a statue is standing on the ground, seven feet away from the base of a building okay i will give you another one minute to draw and then uh, an extension of around 15 seconds to label the parts of the illustration you ready okay timer starts now Very good. Okay, that's great. Okay, another. Mm, I'll repeat the situation. A statue is standing on the ground seven feet away from the base of a building. Okay, so unsa kaya ang inyong nabuhat na illustration? Okay, let's try to imagine this. Naatay statue and then seven feet ang iyahang distance from the building. Okay, so ang iyahang horizontal line parallel sa ground that is 7 feet okay so 7 feet ikan sa statue padulong sa building so muna siya ang horizontal line ang ground okay asa man ito ang line of sight ma okay the line of sight there is from the base of the statue up to the top of the building okay you can draw there an imaginary line or you can draw a line if you are using a pen and a paper okay so that is the line of Side. Good job. Okay, so from the horizontal line up to the line of sight, the angle that we form there is what we call the angle of elevation. Okay, now what, what about the right angle? The right angle is what we formed 
between the building and the ground. Okay, another situation. Okay, situation two. Nana is in a boat that is 7 meters away from the treehouse cottage. Again, Nana is in a boat that is 7 meters away from the tree house cottage again tree house cottage dili siya cottage lang ha kung dili cottage siya nga naa siya sa tree na siya sa tree okay that is a tree house cottage okay your timer start now Okay, time is up. Okay, again, I will read the situation. Nana is in a boat that is 7 meters away from the treehouse cottage. Okay, so, asa man litua ang atuang horizontal line. Okay, always remember horizontal line that is horizon. Okay, muna siya ang pahigda ng linya. Ha, dili na siya patindo. Pahigda ng linya, horizon, horizontal line. Okay, the horizontal line there is from Nana to the, from the boat to the uh, base of the tree, okay, of the tree house. So, that is 7 meters away. Okay, so that is the uh, horizontal line. Now, asa man dito ang atong line of sight? Line of sight is from Nana to the house, the top sa house. Okay, so that is the line that you form there is what we call the line of sight. And then the angle of elevation still becomes sa ground or oh, becomes sa sea. Okay, naman siya sa dagat, no? So, becomes sa dagat, katong um, horizontal line that you made there and then up to the line of sight. Muna siya atong ginatawag na angle of elevation. Okay, and then the right angle there is uh, the straight line that you formed from the top of the house to the uh, to the ground okay so base sa uh, tree house and then against sa uh, horizontal line okay that is what we call the the right angle okay very good students let's do a recap again an angle of elevation is the angle formed by a horizontal line and a line of sight to a point above the line okay always remember that uh, you have to know how to label the picture or you have to know how to illustrate a given situation for you to better understand or get the correct answer when you solve uh, an angle of elevation okay let's try this Okay, ang answer ninyo, Ani, you will send it to your math teacher. Okay. Now, illustrate, draw, and label the following. A student is looking at the top of the Christmas tree. Okay? Please uh, note your answer and then you will pass this to your math teacher. Again, a student is looking at the top of the Christmas tree. Okay? I'll give you 30 seconds to take note of the situation. One more time, a student is looking at the top of the Christmas tree. Okay, you will pass your illustration to your grade 9 math teacher. Okay. Okay, always remember that when illustrating angle of elevation, it is important that we must first understand what is going on in the question that is being asked. Identification of the key parts of the question is essential in understanding the question. Third, we must then mentally or physically draw a picture of what is happening in the situation and carefully plan out how we can approach the question. And the fourth one, it is easier to understand the question if a picture is provided or if we have enough data to sketch an illustration. Okay, 
thank you so much and always remember okay the right illustration is the key of getting the correct answer thank you and if you have any question you can call or text or chat your math teacher thank you so much bye bye good job mom Lorelei. thank you so much mom and to our viewers and listeners this has been your host mom elsie saying if month is hard and so is life then get over it have a good day bye bye